It's almost time for one of the most popular holiday programs, and that is the Madison Symphony Christmas. And here to give us some of the highlights of what will be coming up, Maestro John Domain, good morning to you. Good morning again, Amy. And this brings in so many different groups all coming together. It's quite a production. It is. I mean, I love to celebrate the, the, the musical wealth of Madison, and so we've got the Madison Symphony Chorus under the direction of Beverly Taylor, the Madison Youth Choirs under the direction of Mike Ross, the Leotha Stanley with the uh, Mount Zion Gospel Choir. Then I have two opera singers, Emily Fawns, uh, who was with us a, a couple years ago and, and uh, was starred in the, as Rosina in the Barber of Seville last year oh, okay. with the Madison Opera. And David Govertson, who's a young baritone who I'm introducing, who's a recent graduate of the Chicago Lyric Young Artist Program. Drop dead gorgeous voice. So we have all of those elements. I'm even featuring Stephanie Jutt from the orchestra, uh, playing a couple of moves from the Bach B minor suite. And then we have this, the, the, you know, we years ago we called it a holiday concert, mm -hmm. but we really, it really is Christmas music. And 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 so uh, that's really what we're doing. And in the first half we is largely the Chris, the, the religious side of Christmas mm -hmm. with you know works by von Williams. But movements from the Handel Messiah, Bach, that sort of thing. And as we move into the second half, um, uh, even though we do have pieces like a, a movement of the Rudder Gloria, we move to the more secular side, and, and the soloists will be singing pieces like Let It Snow, Jingle Bell Rock, you know, Chestnuts Roasting on Open Fire, we've got Winter Wonderland, and we have a hot arrangement that we haven't done for quite a few years of Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which involves everyone on the stage. And then uh, when Leotha comes with the gospel choir, usually the the last piece he writes, he involves everybody on the stage. Mm -hmm. And then we top it off with the audience singing with the symphony in, in a Christmas carol sing-along. And uh, I always figure out, boy, how do you top the gospel choir? But when you have 2,000 people in the audience <laughs> and uh, some 350 or 400 people on stage singing, it's quite thrilling. And this is such an incredible concert, especially for younger children, to experience all these different types of musics. And you also invite them to bring their Santa hats along to have a little festive Yeah, we moment. like to have Santa hats. We like to have the young children. I can't tell you how many parents have told me over the years that their children started studying musical instruments as a result of their exposure to this concert. So normally we don't allow children under the age of six, you know, mm -hmm. to, a, to a symphony concert, but for the uh, holiday concert, for the Christmas concert, we make that exception because we want, it's a real family event. We want grandparents to bring their grandchildren. Sure. And, and we want that wonderful feeling that we have at the holidays. Well, it is a fabulous production when everything all comes together. And just a reminder, to get your tickets early because this concert uh, normally does sell out but it is on Friday evening Saturday evening and then again on Sunday afternoon and that is the Madison Symphony Christmas thank you so much thank you Amy